Hello, I'm Leslie Atherton, and this short piece of writing is called Summer Has Her Beat. Burnt and bitten and bothered, that's summer for Jill. She hated its sticky, sweat-inducing humidity and the tiny, gauzy clothes and the I-just-don't-feel-right vibe that she felt about everything. The bright colours and flimsy fabrics didn't feel right to her. The clinginess of underwear didn't either. Her inevitable sweaty, sticky, I-need-a-shower-15-times-a-day-on-freshness was the worst. She would rant at her husband. How and why would anyone enjoy or could anyone enjoy this? How and why? How and why do others love it? How and why do I have to be the only one to utterly abhor it? He would remain quiet, smoking slowly, breathing smooth and unlaboured, as he rested in his grandfather's wooden deck chair and turned down the volume on his hearing aid. Jill loved autumn evenings, as she would sit reading in the back garden or would watch bats fly overhead almost able to discern the sound of the effortless flapping of their wings over the other suburban garden sounds. Jill loved watching. She loved sitting, snuggled on the garden bench under coat and scarf, with a tinkling crystal glass of something red and rich, with air around her, with that cold, wet smell of plants that, exhausted, are taking their chance to rest. She loved to rediscover the empty spaces within her garden and how the wind blew through her thinning hair. She loved the winter and the spring, but as each summer approached, Jill lost all drive and all direction. She didn't want to be anywhere or to do anything because all that mattered was cool time and alone time. In summer, she considers hibernation. She considers ice cream. She seriously considers aircon. But what would she miss? Not a lot. Ice lollies, cold beer, staying at home, showers. Jill knows she can have all that in winter too and sighs. She's not a misery. She doesn't moan about much. She sees great fun and joy and calm in most things. But summer has got a beat. She takes her cold packs carefully from the freezer and carries them to her bedroom, where she prepares for the third tepid shower of the day. Yes, summer has got her beat.